Hey, good day. It's Tourism Tim here with another episode of Tourism Marketing TV. And I've got an important question to ask you. Um, over the last few weeks, I've been engaged with interviewing some pretty amazing tourism professionals that are doing businesses in Patagonia, Alaska, uh, Spain, uh, all over the United States, in Mexico, you name it. Uh, and I've been trying to find out some key things about what impacts their business and what really works and what doesn't to increase uh, website traffic and sales conversions. Here's the bottom line. In today's market, research shows that over 94% of all travel is, and leisure is now being researched online and over 50% is actually being booked online. So what this means is that if you're not, if you don't have a website that compels and enrolls people and you don't, and that if you don't have a constant stream of targeted traffic to your website, you're not even in the game. Um, and it's, it's so critical for new prospects. And so it's really key to find out what's working and, and what isn't. Hey, I, I am a constant student of the travel, the business of travel. And I want to know what's working and what isn't. So one, I can learn and share it with my clients, but share it with you. Um, hey, we're all in this together. And I constantly get emails from people all over the world, just like you, who are looking for some help, looking for some advice, looking to hook up with a, a travel agent who can maybe represent them. Um, and so some of the, the things that I want to discover are key for you. So this is where I need your help. Um, I am, as part of these interviews, I'm, I'm focusing on the, the top questions on, you know, what are they doing on their, their travel marketing strategy with their website and what are they doing to drive traffic? And so what I want to know from you is uh, along those same topic is, you know, what, what are your questions in that area? And my, my number one question for you today is, is what, what question do you have to make your web uh, the, around making your website generate more inquiries, more sales, or more targeted traffic? I want to know what problems, concerns, or uh, even opinions you have around uh, that topic about your travel website. It doesn't matter whether you're a destination, a small guide company, a tour operator, you're trying to sell directly to consumers, you're working with with um, with other tour operators, it's all the same. You 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 have to have. Uh, we're all trying to get business. We're all trying to create relationships. And since the majority of travel is now booked, researched, and and an increasing percentage is booked online, it better be a top priority in your overall travel marketing game. So here's what you need to do. So um, I'm. Uh, if you're getting this, you're watching this on YouTube or you're seeing it on my website, Travel Business Success. Uh, what I want you to do, if you got this uh, as an email, you can either you could respond back to the email. But what I would prefer to you to do is to go to the bottom of this posting here. And, and here's the, the posting. It says, why do some travel websites sell more? Travel marketing video. Go down to the very bottom of, of the page. Keep going down and you'll see the end of the posting and it says to share and Facebook and this and that. I, and by the way, I appreciate you you liking it and sharing it with other uh, tourism uh, uh, friends and associates. It's a little bit about me, but down below here it says speak your mind. And it says name, email, website. So you you know put it, it says tourism marketing Tim Warren, my email, my web address, and this is where you would uh, put in your question is, is right here. And uh, you know I'm, I'm really, the, the, the more specific it can be on what you would like help on, the better, specifically about your travel website. Um, if, you know, if you're getting traffic but no one's emailing you or calling you, this is a sales conversion question. Or you're not, maybe you're not even getting any traffic to your website and, and you're trying to figure out what's the most cost-effective way to doing that. I want to know that. And, the, and once again, the reason I'm doing this is I'm compiling best practices on, on what's working. And, and that's why I've been interviewing all these successful tourism companies because Really, frankly, that's the best way to, to learn this stuff is figure out what's working, who's doing it, and, and wh how are they doing it, and then applying it to your business too. So I want to find that out to learn for myself and so that I can share it with you. So I really appreciate you taking the time today to uh, go and, and to respond to this email or go right to the bottom of this posting right now and put in your top question. And the another reason I want you to post it on this page is because... 
frankly, sometimes in the tourism industry, let's say you're a tour operator, you're a guide company, you're a small lodge, it can be pretty lonely out there. Uh, we don't have a lot of peer connection, and I'm really wanting to create a more community. I'm kind of in the center here, and I get emails from you or posts or questions or calls all the time, which I appreciate. But I want you to connect with each other, and I want you to see, based on your comments and your questions, hey, there's people out there that are just like you that have the same concerns, the same needs, and, um, uh, and that you're not alone. And you might even find by looking and reading some of the questions and comments people make here that there might be some other connectivity. There might be a, well, someone might be a travel agent who's looking to sell your product or vice versa. Um, the more you realize that we're all in this together, um, the more we can help each other out. So I really appreciate you taking the time uh, and to give some thought to this, to send in your question or to post it down here. And I'll be sure to compile this and uh, bring it back to you with some insights and discoveries and best practices to help you with your, uh, help you increase your sales, help you increase your traffic and increase, you know, your bottom line so that you can make a living doing what you love. Tourism Tim signing off. Thanks so much today.